day in the life of an unemployed 24 year old. Don't you make 100k a month? Tell me, baby, right, do don't you? worry about it. to them. Me personally, I hate running so I would never be able to run 26 miles but good shit guys. Baby, do you Alright, your boy is about to go to church but looks like the Chicago Marathon blocked off all the roads so I'm gonna find a way to get some higher ride. Yeah, this is why you gotta love Chicago. Everybody supporting each other, having each other's back. Finally got through the fucking marathon. Eight crowds of people, so that shit was ass, but finally got out of there. This is the boy Dean, if you're new to the channel. What up? Basically, Dean is uh, this kind of famous real estate agent now. I put him on, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> Dean, you wanna tell them how we uh, met? I cold DM <laughs> his roommate, Ibby, like probably two years ago. And this is when I had probably like maybe a thousand followers and I just I was looking to connect with people in Chicago like other entrepreneurs like my people you know what happened was uh my business partner slash roommate Ibby gave me his Instagram he's like yo this uh random Asian dude just DM me he looks alright but like you wanna hang out because he has Asian friends I'm like alright let me take a look so got my phone looked at his Instagram I honestly didn't really see anything but then I looked at his tagged photos and let's just say I had a lot of Asian friends and I had zero Asian friends back in the day so I was like, all right, let's just go hang out with him. And uh, the rest is history from there. All right, Dean, how's the meal? It's good. Give us all the details. So we had some pho, and then we got a banh mi. Now, for all my non-Asian followers, what is a banh mi? It's like a Vietnamese Jimmy John sandwich. Mm. Let's put it that way. Just got back from dinner, and so as you see, on Sundays, I don't really work. I made $19,605 this past week, and last month, I made $71,845. In my second month running a new online company. And so it's a Sunday night, and all the big players in the entrepreneurship space, and like Alex Samozzi, Sam Ovens, and everybody else always tells you to plan out your week, or at least in the very least, plan tomorrow today. And so I'm here to say, fuck that. I don't do any of that shit. Like besides having meetings and setting those in my Google Calendar, because I can't forget that shit and I need to know when those meetings are, like I don't plan anything. I just have routines I do every single day and I just do them whenever I feel like. So example, like I wake up whenever I want. I don't have an alarm. I work out whenever I feel like. I hit the pool, hot tub, steam room, sauna combo. The reason for that is it all depends on what stage of business you're in. So example for me, the most important part for me to grow my business to the next level is traffic, is getting as many people to find out about my company, about my software, about our offer as possible. And the only way to really do that is by coming up with the best ideas possible that go viral. If I'm always stuck in a schedule, I feel like I'm trapped, I don't have the freedom, I'm always stuck to whatever's on my Google Calendar, then all my creativity, all my ideas are out the window. I can't think of shit. But when I'm more creative and I feel like I could do whatever I want and I have the freedom, like that's when ideas come to me. I'm not saying you shouldn't have a schedule. Obviously I still have a Google calendar myself. Like I still have meetings that I still gotta do. I try to make as much in my day as possible towards the freedom I've always wanted. And if I'm able to do that while still being able to get all my work done, that's when I achieve what I call 
day-to-day -day freedom. And the point I'm trying to get across, it doesn't really matter if you have a schedule or not, but you always have to think for yourself. Like just because some big players tell you to do something doesn't mean you should do it. Just because your mom or dad tells you to do something, again, doesn't mean you should do it. Always think like, why are people saying the things they're saying? And is that the right fit for you? I think it's really important to avoid what we call the gray zone, where you're kind of working, kind of not. So on Sundays, it's almost completely just to myself, just chilling, do, doing whatever the hell I want. And that way tomorrow on Monday, I'm fully recharged and I'm good to go. And so there's always like this balance, like when you're chilling, it's always like, I wanna be working. And then when you're working, you're always like, I wanna be chilling. And so for me, it's always just having like a set period of time for both. So for me, Friday afternoon, all the way to Sunday, I'm just chilling, kind of like a nine to five, even though I'm working for myself. Like I just don't touch work. And then Monday to Friday afternoon, it's just all grinding nonstop, just doing whatever I can to grow the business for it. But yeah, just wanted to test out a little vlog for the YouTube. Let me know if you guys like it down below. Uh, I'll see if I want to keep doing this based on the feedback. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.